Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whichever time you are watching, welcome to Veda classes. Today in this session, we will be discussing about Niti Ayur in detail. For one who is not much aware of Niti Ayur, this will be a very basic class for you all. You are in the right class. So, and in this session, we will be discussing important questions in, related, in relation to Niti Ayur as well. So, let's begin. Niti Ayo, it was formed in 1st of January 2015. Its headquarter is in New Delhi. Before Niti Ayo, there was a planning commission that is a five-year plan that everyone is aware of. And everyone say Niti Ayo, Niti Ayo, but what is the full form of Niti? It's National Institution for Transforming India. Hope you are clear with this abbreviation of NITI. It's National Institution for Transforming India. Okay. Sorry. What is the objective of this NITI Aayog? It is a flagship public policy think tank of government of India. Okay. This organization or this it is this Niti Ayo, it's a flagship public policy think tank of government of India. Objective of Niti Ayo, economic development and fostering cooperative federalism with involvement of state. That is uniting the country as a whole. It's the main objective and development of a country economically is the objective of this Niti Ayo. This initiative is a 15-year roadmap. This Niti Ayog, it is a 15-year plan and the seven year is running. This Niti Ayog is under the Ministry of Planning. In this seven years, what are the most important mission or the initiatives which has been done in this Niti Ayog? Now we will be discussing few. Okay, there are many, but we will be discussing the most important uh, missions and the schemes which has been launched under this Niti Ayo. Number one, it's Amrut. Everyone has heard about Amrut, but the full form of this Amrut might be many of you don't know. So the full form of Amrut is Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation. Okay, I'll repeat it again. Amrut. Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation. This Amrut is under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Okay, what does this Amrut cover? Number one, all cities and towns with a population of over 1 lakh with notified municipalities as per census 2011. Under this Amrut scheme, under this mission, rejuvenation and urban transformation will be done on, in all the cities and towns with a population of over 1 lakh. The cities and towns which are notified municipalities as per census 2011. Hope you understood. Number two, all cities and towns classified as heritage city. Okay. Are also covered under this scheme and the heritage cities are classified by MOHUA under RIDAI scheme. Okay, if you want to know the full form, you can Google it up. Number three, 13 cities and towns on the stem of main river with a population over 75,000 and less than 1 lakh is also covered under this Amrut scheme. Number four, 10 cities with hill states, island, and tourist destination are also covered under this Amrut scheme and not more than one from each state is covered under this under this scheme okay hope you are clear with this number two the most important schemes or programs are, is number two digital india that is transforming india into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy it is a initiative of Niti Aayog. No, uh, this Digital India is under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. 
okay number three autol innovation mission this we will discuss later on number four agricultural agriculture reform there are many other programs and missions okay but i have just discussed this four as this four are really very important for, from examination point of view okay okay we discussed about everything but who is the chairperson chairperson is prime minister of india that is narendra modi is the chairperson of niti ayo vice chairman suman bedi chief executive officer parmeshwaran ayer do remember the names uh, the question might come okay chairperson of niti ayog prime minister of india chair vice chairman suman bedi about suman bedi i will uh, give you a bit detail about suman bedi uh, in the question answer session okay so stay tuned chief executive officer parameshwaran ayer the current uh, chief executive officer is parameshwaran ayer who was preceded by parameshwaran ayer that too i will discuss later on so stay tuned okay who are on who all are under the council of niti ayog state chief ministers are under the council of are in the council of niti ayog okay along with chief minister of delhi and puducherry lieutenant governor of all union territories okay hope you you the question might be running in your head like delhi and puducherry is also the union territory but why um, in this union territory there is a chief minister if you want to know about this in detail write down in the comment box i will discuss this as well okay and okay now let's discuss the council of niti ayog that is state chief minister along with chief minister of delhi and puducherry though these are union territories but there is a chief minister in this two union territories lieutenant governor of all union territories and vice chairman nominated by prime minister of india temporary members selected from leading universities and resource institution are in the council of niti ayog hope you are clear let me repeat it once again state chief minister along with chief minister of delhi and puducherry lieutenant governor of all union territories and vice chairman nominated by prime minister of india temporary members selected from leading universities and resource institution are in the council of niti ayog okay okay now we will un try to understand in brief how this niti ayog came into existence okay how did planning commission got replaced we will not go much in detail we will just go to the point okay if you want to know in detail write down in the comment box so that i can uh, make another session detailed session about this okay but this is just a basic session about niti ayog on 29th may 2014 independent evaluation office submitted assessment report to prime minister of india okay on 29th of may 2014 an independent committee submitted a report to the prime minister of india uh, about the merits and demerits of planning commission and what uh, and how niti ayog can be initiated for the development for the growth of the country okay on 13th august 2014 the same was presented in the union cabinet okay to implement anything to replace anything uh, cabinet approval has to be done but for this niti ayog as well on 13th of august 2014 and uh, the same report was presented in the union cabinet on 1st of january 2015 after 3 months the cabinet passed to replace planning commission with niti ayog okay and the first meeting of niti ayog was chaired by narendra modi on 8th of february 2015 
So on 1st of January 2015, Niti Aayog came into existence, replacing Planning Commission. This is a brief history. So next, initiatives. Okay, what are the initiatives of this Niti Aayog? Number one, it's a blockchain uses, that is digital laser technology. Uh, it is a digital based record keeping for uh, public go goods disbursement. Okay. Uh, in this blockchain uses, what happens is uh, digitally the records are maintained so that it uh, so that the public can get the report in a one click. Okay, that is digital laser technology. Understood. Number two, developed by seven thousand crore vision for industrial development of Great Nicobar Island in Andaman and Nicobar. Number three, development of transshipment terminal with a Greenfield International Airport, Township and solar and gas based power plants. These are the initial initiatives of uh, Niti Aayog. What are the other uh, initiatives? Uh, I have told you I'll discuss later on about Autel Innovation Mission. So under this mission, Student Entrepreneurship Program, SEP, was launched. And there are two phases of SCP, that is SCP-1 and SCP-2. SCP-1 was launched in 2019 and SCP-2, SCP-1 was launched in 2019, SCP-2 was launched in 2020, okay. Under this Autel Innovation Mission, uh, the Autel Tinkering Labs in many of the colleges and schools uh, was initiated and established okay and with this auto tinkering lab the students the innovators were able to uh, polish their skills uh, and make the end product okay without this auto tinkering lab the students, the you know, the innovation was there in the students, but they could not like help themselves to polish their skills. So with this adult tinkering lab, students were able to polish their skills. Okay, SCP provided opportunities to students of adult tinkering lab to work with top company volunteers and get mentor supplement, end user feedbacks, and many more. Okay. Free tech driven learning program. In September 2021, Niti Aayog, in association with Baijus, hope everyone is aware of Baijus, it was in September 2021, Niti Aayog, in association with Baijus, launched an initiative to provide free technology driven learning program, that is, digital learning program, to engineering aspirants across the country. This by by Jews help uh, uh, students or the aspirants uh, the online learning initiatives which helped in which help the aspirants to achieve their goal okay and what who all come under this Niti Ayo the vice chairman that is Suman Berry which I had told you that I'll discuss later on so here it is. Suman Bedi is an Indian economist, academic and writer. He served World Bank for 28 years and he is the chairman of Niti Ayog. He is the vice chairman, sorry. He is the vice chairman of Niti Ayog. And ex officio members are of Niti Ayog are Amit Sa, sorry, I forgot to mention it. Uh, you can uh, make a note of it, okay? Ex officio member Amit Saha, Rajnath Singh, Nirmala Sitaraman, and Narendra Singh Tomar are the ex officio members. Hope you know about all these personalities, who they are. If you don't know, Google it up or write down in the comment box so that I can uh, make a separate video on this as well. And the special invitees of Niti Aayog are Nitin Gadkari, Pius Goel, Virendra Kumar, Ashwini Vaishnav, and Rao Indrajit Singh. Okay, 
you don't have to remember the name of every individual but uh, it's good if you could remember and the full time member of niti ayog will be till this program will be will be uh, in existence the, this uh, those uh, people or the, those experts will be the full time member that is drdo chief what is the full form of drdo defense research and development organization the chief of drdo will always be the member of niti ayog agriculture expert will be the full time member of niti ayog and public health expert will be the full time member of niti ayog with this we finish the basic discussion about niti ayog now let's proceed towards the important questions when was niti ayog formed it was formed on 1st of january 2015 the question and answer which we will be discussing now will be all the uh questions from the discussion that we did earlier okay no uh, few there are few extra questions uh, which i thought might be asked in relation to niti ayo so i have added that okay so stay tuned who is the current ceo of niti ayo sri parameshwaran ayer is the current ceo of niti ayo okay who was presided by current ceo of niti ayo Uh, Parameshwaran Ayer was presided by Sri Amitabh Kant, and he was the Amitabh Kant was the CEO of Niti Ayog from two thousand sixteen till two thousand twenty two. Okay, recently in June, uh, this changes has been made. Okay, full form of Niti National Institution for Transforming India. what kind of body is niti ayog it is an executive body niti ayog is replaced by which commission planning commission who is the chairman of niti ayog prime minister of india is the chairman of niti ayog who nominates the vice chairperson of niti ayog prime minister of india nominates the vice chairperson of niti ayog okay this is really very important what are the seven pillars emphasized by niti ayog that the seven pillars of niti ayog are pro people pro activity participation empowering inclusion of all equality and transparency these are the seven pillars of niti ayog the question might come they might uh, give four options in mcq and uh, try to confuse you like which is not the seven pillar of niti ayog if you know these seven pillars it would help you to strike out the wrong answer if it comes okay so what are the seven pillars emphasized by niti ayog pro people pro activity participation empowering inclusion of all equality and transparency are the seven pillars of niti ayog Okay, what is a comprehensive project released by Niti Aayog for introducing system-wide governance transformation in school education? Okay, the can the comprehensive project is SATH S A T H hyphen E. Okay, that is Sustainable Action for Transforming Human Capital in the field of education. Okay. name given to niti ayog ambitious project to develop a nation wide blockchain network name given to niti ayog ambitious project to develop a nation wide blockchain network the name is india chain that is binding all country into one that is blockchain digital ledger technology okay we discussed earlier about blockchain as well So, who is the father of Indian economic planning? Sir Moksha Gundam Vishweswaraya is the first Indian economic father of first Indian economic planning. Okay, Sir Moksha Gundam Vishweswaraya is the first father of Indian economic planning. Next. Name the initiative launched by Niti Aayog to identify and build three role model states for school education sector. It is done under Sathi, the abbreviation we discussed earlier. 
named the Government of India initiative to promote culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in the country. It's named the Government of India initiative to promote culture of innovation. Innovation. When the word comes innovation and entrepreneurship in the country, that is Hotel Innovation Mission. Under this Hotel um, uh, Innovation Mission, we discussed SCP-1, SCP-2. Okay, under this SCP, Hotel Tinkering Labs, everything. Okay, so this question is related to that. The answer is M, Hotel Innovation Mission. Name the Government of India flagship program to improve nutritional outcomes for children, pregnant women, and lactating mothers. The answer is Poshan Abhyan, P-O-S-H-A-N, Poshan Abhyan. Who introduced first five-year plan? The first five-year plan, which was replaced in 2015 by Niti Ayo, the first five-year plan was introduced by Joseph Stalin in 1928. Who is the father of Indian budget? For this Niti Ayok also, the budget is required. So I thought this question is also important. Who introduced the father of Indian Who is the father of Indian budget? So answer is Sri R K Sanmukham Shetty is the father of Indian budget. Okay. Where is the headquarter of Niti Ayok? The headquarter of Niti Ayok is in New Delhi. Niti Aayog is a 15-year road map plan, okay? Niti Aayog is looked after by which ministry? It is looked after by Ministry of Planning. When was the first meeting of Niti Aayog held? The, when was the first meeting of Niti Aayog held? It was held on 8th of February 2015. So with this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you all understood and got a basic idea about what Niti Aayog is. So thank you for watching. Before leaving, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to uh, know about any of the topics, if you want to uh, know, get the discussion about any of the topics, you can write down in the comment box so that I can make a video on it for your convenience okay with this don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you